the Acromag Technical Application Series. The conversion of analog signals to digital form or digital values to analog form involves some uncertainty. In order to provide boards that perform reliably and within expected ranges while remaining cost effective, at Acromag several methods of calibration are performed depending on the product. To help you understand the calibration options available to the users of our products, the PMC330 16-bit analog to digital converter board is used as an example. The user's manual is available for download from our website. It is important to go to the user's manual rather than the product data sheet for this level of detail. In all of our analog to digital and digital to analog modules in industry pack PCI, compact PCI, and PMC form factor, you will find a similar section to the one circled, indicating calibration with some examples. Prominent in each manual is a set of complex conversion equations. These can be intimidating, but Acromag provides a software application programming interface package for most popular operating systems that simplifies their use in application programs. The use of these equations and the meaning of the parameters is covered in part two of this series on calibration. For now, we are interested in the method of obtaining good repeatable voltage reference, which can be established during manufacture and then carried over to the user's deployed system. At Acromag, we use three methods to calibrate a module to a precision voltage reference. For analog input modules, we use a manual calibration method, or for newer board designs, we use a precision validated onboard reference. For digital output boards, we use a factory generated gain and offset reference to a precision voltage source and written uniquely into flash memory on each board. This table shows the most popular analog boards and the techniques used by us at our factory during the manufacturing process to derive the base calibration. Boards numbered in the 300s are analog input boards. They are all designed with an onboard circuit which creates a reference voltage level which is predefined in the manual depending on the gain and voltage range. This voltage can be read at any time in the user's system and becomes an essential factor in the calibration equations referenced in a previous slide. The 330 series, which is available in four form factors, is calibrated by in the factory by hand by adjusting the pot while the board is connected to a precision reference voltage. The other analog input boards are designed with precision resistor diode networks that are very stable and are validated against a precision reference voltage during test. This extra cost is offset by low reject rate during final test and the elimination of operator intervention. In the case of analog output boards, the board is programmed to output a series of expected values during the end of the final test process. The recorded output is used to compute a set of correction factors which are written into each board. As we will see in the next edition, these factors can be overwritten by the customer with some effort, but it is not recommended. Finally, the very popular 730 series of multifunction boards and the very high speed AX series of FPGA modules have both an analog input, which uses the precision component method of generating an analog output input voltage reference, and factory derived factors stored on the board for analog output. In the next installment, we will look at using the calibration factors with Acromag provided software to improve the accuracy of data. Detailed manuals for all of these products may be downloaded from the Acromag website. Also, we encourage you to sign up for our free monthly technical e-newsletter, which 
will inform you of new products and methods for using current products more effectively. You can find a link to the subscription page on the right side of the Acromag homepage.